So the man was wearing his wedding ring on the wrong finger. And she asked, why do you have your ring on the wrong finger? Why? <laughs> because I married the wrong woman, he said. <laughs> <laughs> what letter of the alphabet is an insect? Uh, what letter? A B. <laughs> A, B, C. <laughs> All right, so jokes are good for you. And guess what? Acting like a kid, playing games, it's good for you too. It helps you be healthier, happier, and smarter. And don't take my word for it. That's what the research says. Yep, playing, having fun, joking around helps you to learn. Now, if you're learning a second language, it's particularly important. Why, you might be asking, well, when you're learning a second language, there's what we call an effective filter. And when things aren't perfect, you can freeze and not know the answer or not know what to say. Has that ever happened to you? It's happened to all of us, but especially if you're learning a second language, you can really get nervous and all the learning has gone out the window. You forget everything. Well, relaxing, having fun, doing cool games, playing dominoes, things like that help you to relax, less stress, and to be able to learn a language better. So I always have my students do fun games in class. We learn in fun ways. We watch TV shows like this, but we have the answers and the questions. <laughs> so remember that when you're learning a second language, you need to work on not having that effective filter up. You need to have fun, tell jokes, laugh, maybe learn your states with a puzzle. Um, do other things that help you. I hope you have a great teacher that lets you have fun while you're learning. And I hope you remember the seven daily habits to learn English now.